You guys have heard of life hacks before, right? There's supposed to be these small little things that you can do to make your life just a little bit easier, like using a water bottle to separate egg yolks, or using a can opener to open plastic packaging. But then you get into the stupid life hacks, like sticking all of your remotes together with a rubber band to make one big universal remote or cutting a pint of ice cream in half in order to have your own ice cream bowl. Just take the lid off. It's already in a bowl-like container. But what could be worse than that? Honestly, that's not that bad. Yeah, it's stupid, and I bet a few people tried it without really thinking it through. But there is something worse. Coming up with a shitty life hack and then charging money for it. I am going to have a headache at the end of this video. For today's project, we have the sham pipe. They're making this too easy. I mean, look, it's got sham in the name. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I put in that horror movie I've been meaning to watch by mistake. Hang on, what's the rating on this? Ah, crap. R. We'll probably get age restricted. Ah, I see. She invested in the premature ejaculation shampoo. Don't worry, it washes out of your hair pretty easily. Introducing Shampipe, an innovative, reusable product that will save you hundreds of dollars. Shampipe's innovative design means it can fit almost all shampoo bottles. And yes, the shampoo companies will stop at nothing to keep you away from this product. Be a part of the revolution. Pledge now. Yep, there's the headache. Before we start, let me just address something. This is the guy that they use to represent big business shampoo companies. Pretty sure a ski mask would have been a better option. Pretty sure the Guy Fox mask is the one thing you can't use to represent big companies. Like, it's the opposite of that. Okay, let's first explain what this project is for. It's a tiny plastic screw with a hole in the middle. It's meant to go into the hole of a shampoo bottle to make the hole smaller. By doing so, it's supposed to force you to use less shampoo. Here's my argument. Just use less shampoo. This is quite possibly the worst possible solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Oh, but it gets worse. See, this image here proves that the sham pipe is 3D printed. Anyone here familiar with 3D printers will know why that's bad. You see, the materials and processes used by a 3D printer means that the final product doesn't really handle water that well. As in, it kind of breaks apart pretty easily. So, using a 3D printed product in the shower, well, it ain't gonna go well. And it's even worse here because normally people take hot showers. The plastic used in 3D printers normally has a very low melting point. So not only would it break apart over a short period of time anyways, but this is hot water we're talking about. This thing wouldn't even survive one shower. Boom, there, we're done, right? We debunked their entire product. Nah, one more point to make. How much does this thing cost? Five dollars. See, that's a problem because according to Amazon, the average price of a shampoo bottle is about three dollars. This one in particular is 288. So most of the time you're spending more money on this piece of crap than the shampoo itself. Something something a fool and his money. Before we sign off, as far as I can tell, this isn't a scam. They do seem to want to actually ship their product. It's just that their product is fucking stupid. You have a nice day, guys. I have work to do.